Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So it's me, Shabri. I'm coming to you guys today with a really simple makeup look. This is like my everyday natural glam look when I do decide to put on makeup. So I'm starting out first by just moisturizing my lips. I'm gonna moisturize my skin as well. You all already know I use the Kills Creme Delegance Moisturizer to moisturize my skin. I also prime my skin with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I'm going in with a mixed foundation. I believe I use both my LA Girl Pro Foundation as well as my Lancome foundation, I think, just to kind of even the shade out. My skin has been getting pretty lighter now, being that it is cooling down outside, so I'm sort of kind of in between shades, so the color was a little off, but I'm making it work here. I'm just going in and pressing that foundation all over my skin to cover up any imperfections that I may have. Again, this is just like your everyday natural look, so I'm not using too much foundation, but I will go back, as you see here, to correct the areas that need a little more loving. I'm going in next with my damp beauty blender just to further press the foundation into my skin. That way it's not just sitting on top of my skin, but it all melts together beautifully. Next up, we're going to highlight and conceal. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep First to do more of concealing. And to brighten up my under eye area and my forehead, I am going to add the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. I'm going in next to contour my face. I'm using my Ben Nye Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Dark Brown. I'll also deepen that a little with my AJ Crimson Foundation in the number eight. Before I blend this out, I am going to spray my face uh, with my Urban Decay Setting Spray just to help blending the concealer and the contour shades out a little easier to do. probably looking a little crazy ladies but don't worry we're gonna do a lot of blending and I cut a lot of the clips out where I did blend everything out but pretty much you're gonna blend for your life you don't want to see any lines of demarcation and you want everything to just blend smoothly together um, I'm going to also take this time to work on my nose contour as well so I'm just alternating between my beauty blender and a small fluffy brush just making sure that that nose contour is on point and as I stated I'm just going with my foundation brush to blend even more blending is definitely key ladies before I go in to bake I am gonna go ahead and set those highlighted areas with my YSL souffle delicate setting powder then I'll go in to set my highlighted areas with the Ben Nye setting powder or this was the Laura Mercier setting powder I'm gonna go ahead and set my bronze areas as well I'm using the fashion fair pressed powder in the shade Sable and I also believe I use a little bit of Max Film Noir just to deepen the contour on my or along my jawline or cheeks not jawline my cheeks so yeah that's all I'm doing here now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my MAC MSF in the shade Dark once I do that I'll go ahead and bronze my skin my absolute favorite part of doing makeup is to bronze so I'm going to go back in with that Fashion Fair powder and just bronze up my skin until it's where I want it to be. From here, I'll go in to sweep off that excess powder and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going back in with some highlighter. This is Bronze Glow by Bobbi Brown, and I'll press it in further with my Beauty Blender. From here, I did my brows and lashes off camera, so I really only have to do my lips. I'm going in with my MAC Chestnut Liner and a few nude shades from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. I wanted to brighten up the lips, so I added a little bit of the white lipstick in there as well. And that's it ladies for my everyday natural glam look. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it and I'll see you ladies in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.